June 29th, which is basically one day away from Asteroid Day, right? Asteroid Day, remember, Tunguska event of 1908, June 30th, right? This is the peak of the Torrid Meteor Shower. And we now designate, so the Torrid Meteor Shower lasts roughly from a week before that to a week after that. It's an older meteor stream, more diffuse, because the older a meteor stream is, the more diffuse it'll become. Some of the younger meteor streams, the Earth will pass through the stream in a, in a day or two. It takes Earth literally two to three weeks to pass through the entirety of the Torrid stream. It's more diffuse. The degree of diffusion is going to be a yardstick in a sense to let us know that that stream is probably old. My guess is that the stream, from what I've seen, that it's probably between 25 and 30,000 years old that it resulted from the fragmentation of a very, very large comet between 25 and 30,000 years ago. And most of it is cleared out by now, but this asteroid could have been part of that stream, see? Because it's June 29th, that's the peak. The peak is 29, 30, 31, right in there. Remember Tunguska, June 30th, see? The timing is suspicious to me of this.